Today we have a unique opportunity to introduce you to someone, a newcomer to Niagara. Her name is Colleen Smith, the new executive director at the First Ontario Performing Arts Centre. She comes to us with 12 years of experience in senior management in the performing arts area, including Theatre Calgary, also Roy Thompson Hall and Massey Hall in Toronto. Currently, speaking to us from PEI, from Prince Edward Island. What are you doing out there right now, Colleen? Well, I'm originally from PEI. And um, so in wrapping up my final two weeks with the work I was doing in Newfoundland, I was doing it remotely. And so I decided to move that remote location here to PEI to be a little bit closer to my family and friends um, for that interim period between moving from Newfoundland all the way back to Ontario again. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm on my way. My journey has started back to Ontario and um, just another few weeks and I should be there. What prompted you to put your name in for this job at the First Ontario Performing Arts Centre? You know, I have spent 14 years living in Ontario um, from 1999 onward. And uh, I, you know, just really loved being in that area. Um, there's so many wonderful activities and cultural events and artists um, that are in the Ontario region. And I've always been looking for an opportunity to move back into the Performing Arts Centre world. And I knew about the first Ontario PAC when it was being built. Um, I knew about it when it was opening. And, and in the meantime, I had been moving all across the country. And um, when I heard that the opportunity was available, not only to come back to Ontario in that rich environment again, but have an opportunity to lead a center like, you know, the beautiful, the gorgeous First Ontario PAC, I leapt at it. So um, just so many things about that area, that organization and that facility that I think are just uh, really quite beautiful. And then... Um, Lucky to be there, soon to be there. What was the interview process like? You know what, it was really, um, it was a lengthy process. It was really involved and I thought it was really thoughtful. The, the board, the current board of the First Ontario PAC are a relatively new group of people that are working together. And I think they really wanted to make sure that they were choosing the right person. Not, the, not always the best person, but a good person who was the right fit for the organization. You don't take over the role officially until May 4th, but you do have some challenges facing you with the recovery from this pandemic. Definitely. Um, every community across this country has been impacted by what's happened in the world. Um, artists and arts organizations and arts workers are struggling right now and will continue to do so for a while. And I think it's the, the responsibility of regional PACs to really look and see how they can benefit the community, how they can give back, how they can help to rebuild um, what really makes cities so vibrant and communities so vibrant, which are artists and arts activities and concerts and plays and and you name it. So there's there's a lot um, there's a lot to do. I think there's a lot of rebuilding and there's a lot of support that's necessary. You're kicking something off this weekend. Niagara performs, and one of the really unique things about Niagara performs is. You know, we've, we've talked to, on our program, a few artists, a few local musicians who are struggling to make ends meet right now. They're out there, they're posting live streams on Facebook, but it's not really bringing any income. With Niagara Performs, the artists that you book here are actually getting paid. That's correct, yeah. So Sarah and her amazing team last night launched uh, Niagara Performs, which is um, sort of inspired by the National Arts Centre's Canada Perform series, but the Niagara Performs series is really about local artists and arts organizations. And yes, they are getting paid to do the work that they're doing, whether it's the Sunday afternoon, four o'clock live stream concerts or the community nights on Thursday at seven. Um, those individuals, those organizations, those artists are being paid. And that is 100% a priority for any performing arts centre right now is to ensure that artists are able to make a living as best possible possible. Um, and then secondary really is to continue that connection to the people in the community that love them so much. So um, do we have an opportunity to facilitate um, the exchange between artist and audience? Well, yeah, we do. We can do that online. And that's what we will do until the time comes that we can actually get together and experience this live again. And I believe that it will happen. It will take time, but it will happen. And all local acts is the focus. That is the focus right now. Absolutely. Yeah. 
Now, moving forward, have you begun trying to plan for a reopening of the Performing Arts Centre? And what would be, you know, the process in getting artists booked for the future? Yeah, I think the, the first thing to say is that there will be a reopening. It will happen. We don't know when it will happen and we don't know how it will, but it will eventually. I think that um, the strength, again, of the past um, the past concerts, events, and the team that's produced those at the First Ontario Centre gives me a lot of comfort in knowing that when it's time, we will, we will have a great plan. And it will absolutely involve those who have helped us to achieve the success we've achieved so far. So the local community will be involved, uh, local artists. And, um, and the team that has brought us to where we are. So I can't tell you exactly what it's going to look like, and I can't tell you exactly when, but I am absolutely 100% confident that it will happen, and it will be fabulous. And it is a great team that you will be working with. We can attest to that uh, great group of people. Colleen, welcome to St. Catharines. Welcome to Niagara. We can't wait to meet you in person on May 4th or sometime around May 4th. I'm not going to say, well, I, I guess I am going to say, may the 4th be with you, but uh, that's... Please, please do, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's Colleen Smith. And uh, again, a reminder uh, that Niagara Performs kicks off at four o'clock this Sunday with Mark LaLama. Visit the First Ontario Performing Arts Centre website for details on that.